good to be here. I have pretty big news. I just got married. I, I did it, guys. I did it. Pretty cool. Getting married, it's kind of weird, though. Like, it feels like an adult thing to do, you know? But, like, I don't feel like an adult. Like, I don't even look like an adult. I look like a pesky neighbor from a Disney Channel original movie. I know what I look like. Like, I know I'm a husband now, but, like, I don't feel like a man. Like, I thought I would by now, but I just don't. Like, I, I still call my dad when I have car trouble. I'm 30. That's pathetic. Pretty soon, I'm going to have a kid, you know? He's going to have car trouble and call me. And I'm going to call my dad. My dad's going to be like, don't worry, I'll call grandpa. Like, I don't even get why I call my dad. Like, I have triple A. I don't need to call my dad. If you guys don't know what AAA is, AAA is this amazing organization. You pay $50 a year, and they'll just send a dad out to you. <laughs> Some guy will come out there, fix your car, take you and your boys to lunch. It's a good service. I wish I was like, I don't know, I'm just not a man. Like, I wish I was more like my grandpa. My grandpa was a man. My grandpa and my grandma both survived the Holocaust. Some of you aren't clapping for that. It's not impressive to you. You're like, yeah, what are their other credits? Do they have a podcast? It's crazy. My grandpa escaped concentration camp. One time he was in hiding. And, and a guy offered him a, a ham sandwich. And he was very hungry, but my grandpa was still a religious Jewish man, so he kept kosher, so he said, sorry, I don't eat pork. Yeah, it's crazy, it's a beautiful story. And I love my grandpa, and I appreciate his sacrifice, but that's the Jewiest response <laughs> to a free sandwich. <laughs> This guy's hiding from the Nazis. You think you might want to tone that down a little bit. <laughs> but no. My grandpa jumped off a train headed to Auschwitz. This guy gives him a sandwich and he goes, yeah, what else you got? <laughs> like he's at a deli counter in Brooklyn. Just like, honestly, I'll have turkey on rye with a Dr. Brown's cherry Coke if you got it. <laughs> Crazy. Now that, I'm, now that I'm married, I want to live like a long life. I want my wife and I to grow old together. So like I go to the doctor a lot, you know, just to make sure everything's okay. The other day I went for a checkup. At the end of the checkup, I asked the doctor if he would check my nuts for cancer. I asked him that. I swear to God, the doctor was like, no. <laughs> That's what he said. He goes, actually, uh, you can do it. <laughs> he said that to me. He goes, you do it. <laughs> you go home and check your own nuts <laughs> for cancer. Have you guys ever checked nuts? It all feels like cancer. <laughs> And cancer kind of looks like nuts. <laughs> it's confusing. And like, if I didn't know what a scrotum was and my friend showed me a picture of his, I'd be like, Jesus, dude, do you have cancer? <laughs> I give you four to six months. Also, don't show me that anymore. <laughs> I like being married, I do. I'm a relationship guy. I'm a lot more focused when I'm in a relationship, you know? When I'm single, I'm like very distracted. When I'm single, I feel like I'm just walking around the city just like, girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are the girls? <laughs> oh, does anybody know where the girls are? <laughs> you guys have seen single men, you know? <laughs> but now I'm a lot more focused. Mostly on answering my wife's questions correctly. 
like the other night we were watching TV and she stood up, she paused the TV, she was like, hey, would you still have married me if we found out we were brother and sister? <laughs> What do you say to that? <laughs> Feels like a red flag for me to be like, oh, hell yes. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> mm, I like that shit. <laughs> you can't say that, you know? So instead I was like, no. <laughs> she got so upset. <laughs> she was like, oh, so you wouldn't love me? And I was like, of course I'd love you. You're my sister. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I've known you my whole life. <laughs> I do have like a lot of good male role models. My dad's one of them. He's retired. My dad's like so retired, he'll just accept a call from anybody. <laughs> you see this? Just anybody that calls him, he's gonna pick it up. I saw him pick up a call the other day from a number that was 99 pound. <laughs> it was all business too. He was like, this is Michael, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> 10 minutes later, he's like, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> 20 minutes later, he's like, who? I'm like, Dad, we're in a Starbucks. You gotta chill, dude. <laughs> Freaking everybody out. Like most Jews, I have an anxiety disorder. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only Jewish person in here. <laughs> I'm definitely the only person who's ever talked about the Holocaust in a surf shop. <laughs> Or maybe this is where they're talking about it. <laughs> they're like, yeah, dude, that was fucked up, man. <laughs> yeah, I have an anxiety disorder for sure. Um, I actually, I saw, my dad was my therapist for a while. He was, and that was, that was pretty unique because he's an accountant, so. <laughs> not really helpful. <laughs> Like my dad's advice for my anxiety growing up was to just uh, take a dump. <laughs> and that's like pretty good advice. <laughs> that works like 90% of the time. <laughs> when I was a kid, I would beg my parents, I would beg my dad to see a therapist. I knew I was fucking crazy, you know? I would beg him to see a therapist, but anytime I'd ask him to see a therapist, he would just take it personally, you know? He'd be like, you wanna see a therapist? So you can't talk to me? <laughs> you can't talk to me? <laughs> you know, I didn't have anybody I could talk to when I was your age. You got someone, you got me, but I didn't have, anybody I had nobody nothing I'd be like dad what are you talking about grandma and grandpa around and he'd be like they didn't speak any fucking English <laughs> I was a boy I was alone and I'd be like dad uh you should see a therapist <laughs> and he'd be like nah I'm just gonna take a dump later <laughs> guys my name is Noah Finley thank you so much